How's it going people? Sam and Slabby here and this is your contact quest guide. And this is actually one of the prerequisites for Duna Weevil and Dino Scarbras, which will be up soon. So without further ado, quest requirements for this, you'll be needing to have completed Gertrude's Cat, Xlaren's Little Helper, and Prince Ali Rescue. So some fairly easy quests needed for this. But items needed for this. All you'll be needing for this is a light source of some kind, whether that's a bullseye lantern, seer's headband, or a candle. You'll also want a tinderbox, just in case it goes out. Uh, I'd highly recommend bringing along a fero scepter, as it'll save you a hell of a lot of time. You may want a water skin if you're not using a fero scepter. Emergency teleport would be incredibly handy. Anti-poison potion would also be very handy. You'd need some very good food, some decent armor, and a weapon. And if you're a lower level, a super extreme or overload set will help you kill the actual boss. Protection prayers are also quite handy for this. So the boss itself is actually weak to stab, so if you happen to have a stab weapon you can use that, although a whip or something along those lines works perfectly fine. But as soon as you're ready, head down to Sofenheim in the desert and talk to the High Priest. And go through his options. And you'll then get a little cutscene. And you'll learn about the war between Sofan and the Menophytes. So continue talking to the High Priest and go through all of his options. And as soon as you go through all the options, it'll eventually tell you to go ahead and talk to Jax. So, finally, once you've finished talking to the High Priest, we now need to go ahead and talk to Jax. So, to find Jax, you need to head up to the northeast corner of Sofenum. And he's just outside the Woodby Bank. So right by here is where Jax is, so just go ahead and talk to him. And he'll tell you about some kind of trap door underneath the bank. So head on inside and climb down the ladder. And right next to you will be another trap door you can go down. Right with it. And proceed to go down. So there's quite a few traps in this little area. I've now put a little thing on screen so you can actually see where the traps are. I'll try to explain as best I can, but on this first corner you want to go around the top side and on the bottom. And there'll be a Scarbright Mage just to your left. You'll want to put Protect from Mage on. And then you want to head south on that corner. And just to your right, first corner, you want to check the floor. You can see little black spots on the floor. That's the trap. So try to disarm that. You can turn Protect from Mage off at this point. And now we've got another little one. You want to go as close to the top side as you can, and then walk diagonally down into the next one. And you just repeat that to get past all of these. you just got to walk diagonally between the gaps. Finally, once you're past that, just around the corner there's another trap you'll have to search the wall for. You can tell where it is, as the wall is slightly different colour. So 
So once you've gone past that, you want to head to your west. And just right here, you want to check on Protect from Magic again, and you want to keep to the north side of the wall to avoid the trap door. Then you want to head west, then south, then east. And stay on the right hand side of this, otherwise you'll fall down this trap door right by here. If you happen to fall down, you'll be surrounded in a multi-combat area with level 100 pluses, and if you're unfortunate, then your light will actually go out. You'll want to quickly turn that back on. If you happen to fall down here, I'd highly recommend just clicking your emergency telly and going out, as these skins can hit quite hard. But, if you don't want to do that, the exit is in the very, very southwestern corner. And the area is split into like a north side and a south side. So depending on which side you're on, you'll have to head towards the centre, then to the southwest. <coughs> but if you've fallen through, then you'll appear down by here. And it's another one of these agility walking trap things. If you didn't fall down, then you can use the map on the top left of the screen to find your way down. There's plenty of methods to get down here. I will be showing how to do that method a little bit later on. But once you're back down here, you then just have to search the wall just in front of me. And as soon as you pass this, this is where both points will actually come past each other. This is where they join up. And all you have to do is stay on the north side of this wall or this path I should say, to avoid the trap door. And then just head down this ladder. So once you're down here, just follow the path all the way around. And eventually you'll come across a dead body. So, as soon as you find it, go ahead and search Khalif's body. And you should get a little note. Quickly check the note. And then run slowly to your west. And go ahead and talk to the person on the other side of the canyon. So, the first one you want to say drain a village. And the second one is option number four. And you'll then go and tell you to talk to Osman in Al Karad. So now you want a home port with a lodestone to Al Karad. And literally, almost right next to the lodestone, slightly to your west, is Osman. So, go ahead and talk to Osman. And go through all of his options. And eventually, he'll ask you why it'd be worth his while to help you out. The answer to that little question is because it'll drive a wedge between the Menophyte cities. So, option three. So, at this point, it's no time for the boss battle. So, conveniently enough, you can head straight to Al Karid Bank and get all your stuff out for this boss fight. You will still need your tinderbox and a light, well, tinderbox and a light source, should say. I'd highly recommend still having the Fear Receptor, because we do need to head back down to Sofenheim. But, your extreme, super, set, whichever one you plan on using, a lot of food and some decent armour. In this case, I'm going to be using melee. You can use mage or range if you want. It just means you'll have to be using different protection pre. So, 
pack up your imagery. And as soon as you're ready, head on down to Sofanum. So once you're here, you want to head to the north gates and exit through there. And you want to talk to Osman. He should be just outside, right next to the carpet ride dude. And go through his options. You can tell him of a secret entrance. And then you'll get a cutscene of Osman sneaking into the city. So eventually that cutscene will be over, you now want to head back into Sofanum, so just go back through the doors, and we now need to head back into the little underground bank thing, so slightly to your east, and head down the trap door, and head down the trap door again. So again, we're back down here with the little agility slash thieving pyramid. So again, you want to head up to the north side of this little first turn in. Check on protect from mage. And the next turn in, you want to head south and the first right. And check the traps on the floor. Next, you want to carefully get past these little pushing block things. Then you want to search the wall just to the south. Now you want to head west, ignoring the south turning. And there's another trapdoor right by here, so stick to the north side. From here you want to head to your east, and then almost directly south, staying on the right hand side. As the trapdoor is right by there. Then from here you can either go east or west, doesn't matter as they end up in the same place. For my choice I decide to go east, so search the wall. And you want to head directly west straight after it. And then as soon as you can go south, you want to pass these little push block things. And from here it's a directly west. Stick to the top side as the trap door is on the southern side right by there and then all you gotta do is climb down this ladder right by here so as soon as you drop down the ladder you'll then get a cutscene And Osman will then be attacked by Scabrites. Which will turn into the giant Scarab. So 
So all you gotta do is follow the path all the way around and you'll come in straight across the giant scarab as you can see there. If you're using melee, all you need to do is run straight up to it and protect from melee. And when the scarab rangers and scarab riders and stuff start to appear, as they will spawn while killing it, you can either quickly kill them, they've got 200, H 200 HP each, or simply carry on wailing on the giant scarab. Depending on which one you prefer. If you're using magic, you want to stand away from the giant scarab and use protect from range. And when the scarab riders and stuff appear, it's the same thing again. You can either quickly kill them because they've only got 200 HP each, or you can just stay on the scarab and finish it off. When you do finish off the giant scarab, all of those little scarab riders and stuff will disappear. So it's entirely up to you. Gosh, freezing. So, finally, once you kill the giant scarab, Osmond will then disappear. If he doesn't disappear, then go ahead and talk to him. And while he's here, pick up the Keras, which the giant scarab dropped. As this thing will do triple damage to Calphites, which is quite handy against Calphites on your Slayer task, so... Well worth getting. So... Only thing left to do now is to teleport back to Sofenum. And the last step, all we have to do now is talk to the High Priest again. And that's it, quest complete. So go ahead and talk to this fella. You need a few imagery spaces. And there you have it, quest complete. So for completing it, you gain the Keras, one quest point, seven K Thieving XP and two wishes which will give you 7k xp in any combat which isn't bad and you also which is very handily gain access to a bank in Sofenum which is very good for pyramid plunder and just generally having a bank in the desert so all in all a very simple quest really really short the only trouble you could possibly have is if you are quite a low level and you're going up against the giant scarab. But anything past 100 combat shouldn't have any trouble at all. And that's about it. So this is one of the prerequisites we've now done for Duna Weevil. The next one will be dealing with Scarborough's on Monday. So until then, I will catch you all later.